The note card from Blue's Wireless is the easiest way to add cellular connectivity to any IoT project. The note card comes with 500 megabytes of data and 10 years of service built in, meaning you don't have to worry about managing a SIM card or a cellular subscription. But what really draws developers to the note card is its language agnostic JSON APIs. And this is the first thing you'll want to try out after you get your new device. In this video, we'll show you how to take your note card and hook it up to one of our development boards, which we call note carriers, and where to go to learn the basics of how the note card works. Let's start by looking at how to hook everything up. On my desk, I have a couple of note cards, both the cellular note card in green and the Wi-Fi note card in black. I also have a full suite of our note carrier development boards, including the note carrier A, the B, the F, and the note carrier Pi. Regardless of which note carrier you have, as a first step, you'll want to take your note carrier and remove the screw from the mounting receptacle using a Phillips screwdriver. Next, take your note card and insert it into the note carrier's M.2 edge connector. When you're done, secure the note card by reattaching the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. After which, your board should look something like this. Next, it's time to attach antennas. If you have a note carrier A, your board includes onboard antennas, and you can attach them by connecting the board's pre-attached UFL cables to the UFL terminals on the note card, making sure to match the main and GPS labels. If you have a note carrier Pi, take the included Molex antenna and connect it to the main UFL terminal on the note card. And if you're using a note carrier B or F, attach the UFL connectors from the included Molex antenna to the note card's UFL sockets. If you have a Molex 213353 antenna, the LTE antenna is on the left, so make sure to attach it to main, and the GPS antenna is on the right, so attach it to GPS. Finally, if you're using a note carrier Pi, you'll also need to stack the note carrier on top of a Raspberry Pi or other single board computer with the Pi compatible 40 pin headers before continuing. Now you're ready to talk to your note card. Grab a micro USB cable and connect it to the USB port on your note carrier. The LED on the note card will turn on as the device activates. Once connected, head to dev.blues.io and navigate to the note card quick start. Then select the note carrier you're using alongside your note card. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to communicate with your note card, how to send data to the note card's backing cloud service, NoteHub, and how to send data from the cloud back down to your device. You can send commands to your note card directly from your web browser, or send commands through the note card's CLI, which is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, and which you can find documentation for in the Tools and SDK section of dev.blues.io. And once you've learned the basics, you can next learn how to communicate with a note card using one of our SDKs that are available for Arduino, Python, C, C++, Go, and TinyGo. And that's it. In just a few short minutes, you can get up and running with a note card and start seeing just how easy it is to add cellular connectivity to any IoT project. When you're done with the quick start, we next recommend checking out our sensor tutorial, which will help you get up and running with sensor data, and then our routing tutorial, which will help you get your data to your own cloud applications. Have fun playing with a note card, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on our forum at discuss.blues.io.